Tonight, a victory for military veterans and their families. The VA will now pay for IVF, in vitro fertilization, something it has not done in decades. And Denver 7 Sally Mamdu caught up with the couple who played a big part with that decision. And to put things in perspective for you, the Pentagon already covers infertility treatments for active duty personnel. But if you're in the military and got injured, you are responsible to pay for your own infertility treatment. And those treatments don't come cheap. For adaptive sports therapist Crystal Wilson and her once client and now husband Tyler, it wasn't love at first sight. The first time that he and I ever started working together, he hated me. But hate soon turned into admiration. She makes me want to be a better person. Army veteran Tyler Wilson was wounded while fighting in Afghanistan and was in rehab, trying to strengthen his body with Crystal's help. I was wounded in a firefight. Um, I was shot four times. And uh, the first of which paralyzed me. Um, I understand you have a bullet inside of you right now. Yeah, and I still have a, a bullet in my uh, T10 vertebrae. After years of therapy, the two fell in love and wanted to start a family. With Tyler being wounded, he was paralyzed, which ultimately led to a discussion of that he couldn't have children naturally and that IVF was our only option. The average IVF procedure cost $15,000, but in Crystal and Tyler's case, it cost them $44,000. They thought the VA would help. Even though it's 100% related to the fact that Tyler was paralyzed during combat, that there was no coverage for it. Tyler was in disbelief. You feel a bit betrayed. You feel you know, a bit forgotten about. The Wilsons knew it was literally going to take an act of Congress to change things. They started their first treatment in January and flew to the nation's capital. We went directly to those people who could change it and put Tyler in front of them. And then they got some very good news. So we have 22 more weeks to go and then we get to meet our little guy or girl. Congress listened to them and just passed a temporary bill this week allowing the VA to cover IVF costs. Their doctor says the couple's case isn't uncommon. It's really been a barrier to a lot of veterans that have the same sorts of issues and would love to have kids, but weren't able to do so until, until now. It's why these soon-to-be parents will continue their fight for a permanent solution. Make sure that any veteran who's in Tyler's situation in the future doesn't have to fight the same fight. Yeah, and, and, is, and is more worried about putting a crib together. Right? Exactly. <laughs> in Golden, Sally Memdu, Denver 7.